I'm not sure exactly what their plan is against double attack Lulu. It's an eight power double attack Lulu. That's juicy. I got him. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Lucian. This is a cool looking deck that was submitted by a viewer on YouTube that had this idea. Um, that's just going to be basically a very, very low to the ground aggressive deck that uh, makes blocking difficult for the opponent. We have a lot of ways um, to attack and make our attacks pretty good. We got support units for that with War Chefs, Young Witch, and Lulu. And then we have Quick Attack with Senna and Lucian. We can give Barriers with Bright Steel Protector. We got a Challenger with Fleet Feather Tracker. Flower Child's getting buffed up. Um, you know, we're just going to be attacking a lot. And then we got awesome combat tricks. Uh, we got Rush for one mana. Can, you know, have our Lulu kill, like, its blocker or just whatever. You know, like our um, Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, like anything kill its blocker for one mana. It's just very, very mana efficient. So we got three Rush. We got three Sharp Sight. Three Twin Disciplines. All of those are very good. Repost is going to be our expensive card with the plus three, plus zero, and the Barrier. Barrier help out some different times. And then we can also Rally since... Um, you know, we're going to be wanting to attack quite a bit, and we're rewarded for attacking. Let's attack some more. So we're going to have three Relentless Pursuits. Last thing is uh, one copy of Flurry Fist to help kill the opponent when we uh, quick attack with either Young Witch or Rush. We can do surprise, you know, Rush plus Flurry combo on different things. So yeah, we're not going to be able to play too much of a late game. If we get far behind, that's probably, you know, going to be really bad because we are not going to come back from behind if our opponent's playing a lot of removal, and like all of our units are pretty small, if they're just playing a bunch of removal, that's going to be bad for us as well. We're just going to hopefully curve out, attack, use combat tricks to help win combat, and um, you know win from there. So that that's what we got. We got Lulu Lucian. That's also fun to say, Lulu Lucian. All right, we got Poros to start it off. Bye, Poros. This looks good. Yep, looks good to me. Could mulligan the Senna. Senna should attack pretty well. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. Yeah, hopefully we can get a positive record with this one too, so we can have all positive records on the day. That's the plan. Should have gone War Chefs with the plus one, plus one. Ugh, should have gone War Chefs. Alright, so we'll have Lulu support Young Witch. Who will then support Senna. Alright, should've used should have used War Chefs, this would be a lot easier. Because <laughs> then I would still have my my challenger. Okay, Flower Child could be cool. You like magic? <laughs> Good old Repost. Is it adventure time, you guys? What do you say, Glow? Okay, yes. let's see what we got. Let's do... You have Vulnerable. 
Oh no! I was gonna. All right, so I was gonna be vulnerable. I was gonna have the Senna challenge the vulnerable thing. But yeah, there we go. Okay, bye. Just own up on combat. That's that's our deck, Lulu Lucian. Yeah. So Mason asked, like, why are people playing so many Poros now? Even though like the Fable Poro is good, but it's not like you know ridiculously good or anything. And it's because the metagame is a little slower now with, the, like, Aurelia Azir not being everywhere. Like, before, the Poros were slower than Aurelia Azir. But now that doesn't matter as much. And so, you know, you just get your elusives. What do I want to do here? I think I want to mulligan Senna. And I think I want to keep the rest. Hecarim Elise. I'll mulligan Bright Steel Protector, too. Look for a two-mana support unit. Alright, so this heals the flower child back up. The Undying. That probably means they're going to be playing vulnerable stuff. Which I don't love to see. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Smell that? A bite to cook it! So, basic thing, like, do I block with Twin Disciplines or play Young Witch? I'll just play Young Witch. Like Alright, you are going to support you, who supports you, who supports you, who supports you. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I have, like, a generic 7-5. Do I even want a 7-5? I guess I could do... This way, go. Yeah. Let's get some more elusive damage in there. We're getting some real support change here. Support chains here. Our attackers are so quick. Get bloody, get paid. They're so quick. Yeah, the young witch buff to two health. Like, there's just such a big deal, but you know, such a big difference between one and two health for sure. That really was a big deal. So go down to nine. Yeah, pursuit. Yeah, relentless pursuit would be amazing. Oh no, that's the worst possible thing. All right, we got ruinationed. Hmm. Got ruinationed. That'll happen. That'll happen. Okay, Sivir Zed. So are we going to outrace them? They're gonna have vulnerable stuff. Um, like Rush is a good spell, but send them back. Move one sprint for each 
huge crab I saw today. D for two. Flurry Fist would have been useful last game. That would have helped us win that game. If it's made of sand, I can light. I think I just... Yeah, I don't think I trade. Oh dear! Do not fear the shrouded path. That's a heck of a card. Please control. I'll show you how it's done. No closer. I am a shadow. I am a shadow. My skill is unlocked. Yeah, 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 you're a shadow. Allows them to block war shafts. Man, what am I doing? <laughs> that was like my whole plan was like to make sure to not die to that card, the shape stone, and then I just then I was like, well, no. Then they get to block the warships. I, what am I doing? I was, and then I just died of that card. Now, but that was just that was just terrible by me. Yeah, that was just terrible. I I just messed that up completely. All right, so that lost on me. Can't believe I did that. Let me keep all this. We got Lucian plus Senna with um, Sharp Sight and Bright Seal Protector to protect them. So the Young Witch is going to be my turn, my round two play, so that I can play like Lucian plus Sharp Sight, for example. You know, like I want to have, I don't want to just play Lucian here and then it gets uh, like the Mystic Shot on the Lucian. Don't want that to happen. That's new. We're provoking it. Push back the darkness. If they would have passed with all their mana, I would have been playing Lulu. But them only having the two mana, they should only just have like, you know, sharp side should be able to counter whatever they want to do. I'll take it. You're late. You're early. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. This way. Go. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Could be worse. Ooh. Flurry of Fisk. We can give Lucian double attack after Lucian already has double attack. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Double double attack. Is it a 9 7 cheating? I feel like a 9 7 is cheating. My shield is yours. Down. We're gonna need more coffins. We're gonna need more coffee. Tamper proof. 
I'm not sure exactly what their plan is against double attack Lulu. It's an eight power double attack Lulu. That's juicy. I got him. GG's. Oh no, Thresh Nasus? Okay, I don't think we're gonna do too good against Thresh Nasus because they can just throw out too many bodies and too much card advantage. Yeah, I'm not expecting this to go well. So, I think we will... Mulligan these. Look for some support. Hmm. That did not help. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, um, this is kind of game number, like we kind of went three and two. We played against Sivir Zed, and I guess their hand was really bad. Ours looked good, but they con they conceded round two. So we was you know, not much of a game at all. So we're playing another one. There's a chill in the air. So if we lose, I can have that excuse and say like that we were three and two and that we had all winning records today. <laughs> this is mercy. I also don't hate passing. I'll be like this rush for the Fleet Feather Tracker later. I just don't want I don't want Fleet Feather Tracker to die to Vile Feast. But if they have Vile Feast, they can kill it with Vile Feast at any time. I'm gonna pass. Which I guess there's maybe just no reason not to just attack with Illusion. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Hello, love. In the field. You call me Commander. You call me Commander. So yeah, Merciless Hunter obviously was pretty, uh, pretty easy to read, and so we got the Senna to turn into double attack if Lucian dies. No place for men. Looking grim. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, we are so close to killing them this round. We could do 18. Oh, so close. Oh no, I don't have the mana to do 18. I can't do both this and this. So we could do 16. Go ahead. Scare me. I guess it's just attack. Uh. Black Spear. Why you do this? Okay. Tough matchup. <laughs> they got vulnerable, lots of blockers, and removal. Yeah, tough matchup. We're gonna need some more power. Maybe another champion. They don't need more power, another champion. We need more power. Another champion. So I should have just attacked immediately, like the, the first, you know, I should have done like the, the attacking on round two. I think that's what kind of learned here. Should have done that attacking on round two, because then if they do use the Vile Feast to kill my Fleet Feather Tracker then, then they don't have the Vile Feast later. And so, lesson learned there. Okay, Illusion. Now, I know they have... We know they have a champion. I can go all in. I can, you know, put this, play Rush and Riposte, put this thing up to, to five and then Rally. I kind of want to do that. If they don't have Nexus healing, we win. Do we got him? We got him! How about that? 
the elusive young witch kill. Okay, so our super aggro Lulu Lucian deck went three and two. Not bad at all. We lost that that close one to Sivir Zed where I you know made a made made a mistake you know like that with uh, my Lulu. Yeah, that was a bad mistake. So I made a bad mistake for one of our games that we lost. Um, and you know like they were just close games, really fast games, right? Like if you like quick ranking up, you know like these are gonna be fast games. Maybe you won't win them all. De you know like the, the deck's not perfect, right? Like it's not gonna be like one of the very best decks in the format, I don't think. But it can it can be super super aggressive, and if you can have your cards line up you're going to do well. Um, and yeah, I think I was pretty impressed with just how it felt just in general, like all these different uh, support cards. We got Ruination one game, right? Like not many people play Ruination, right? Like that's not a card that, that very many people play. Not just, you know, our opponent happened to have a Ruination. Otherwise, like we were easily winning that game. You know, like, yeah, Ruination was kind of the only card that <laughs> would have killed us the other game. So um, yeah, it felt really powerful. It felt hard to stop. So there we go, Lulu Lucian. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments if you try out this aggro deck. Let me know how it goes for you over there. Hopefully y'all uh, play some fast games and enjoy it. But that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.